Okay. Dave, uh, Derby defeat. Is it the first half performance at cost us? Yeah, it hurts. Um, the first half definitely cost us. We we look a bit nervous, um, and then we're trying to identify why. And you've got some lads playing in their, their first Derby game there. And so we we've built the game up a lot, you know, because we want them to, to to feel what it means to everyone. And maybe we built it up a little, a little bit too much because we did look um, they, I'll, fair play to them. They put us under massive pressure. The intensity of their work was very good, but uh, we couldn't handle it. We couldn't handle that pressure. We knew it would die off at some point and we'd get on top of the game, but I did expect us to at least match it in the first half. And I said the first 10, 20 minutes was going to be a battle who was going to come out on top. And they were playing percentage football, which they were winning. They were dominating at both ends of it. And we just couldn't get a foothold in the game. And then when the, the spaces did appear and we had time to pass it, we just kept giving the ball away. And it was, um, it was poor performances from a lot of players. Where you, ex you expect better, and they come out in the second half and did that. And I can only relate that to, um, I'd say, no, that's more than anything in terms of what three 18 year olds playing there or playing in their first derby game. But it's, it's not, it wasn't just them, it went through the, the whole squad in the first half. And um, yeah, we were poor, second half, a lot better. Do you think you can almost be too up for it in a way? It's almost like you're, you're running about trying to make something happen and, and, and you almost made the wrong decision each time, didn't you? Maybe. I think someone described it at half-time when the players were, were running around like kids without our structure, which it did, it did feel like that. And I'll take responsibility. I've, I've drummed it into the lads this week that this is a massive game of football because I want them to feel that. But on the other side of it, in the context of, of football, if you like, it's not... Yeah. It's not. They're going to play in front of bigger crowds than this. It's going to be more intensity than this. But we wanted them to know how much it meant to everyone at the football club. Um, and I'll say it again, give credit to the, to the opposition. I thought they played a, a style of football that we couldn't deal with. Almost non-league does to the point where we couldn't deal with their physicality. They played the percentage as well. And then they've got good players at the top end of the pitch who hurt us. Um, and it wasn't until we started to string two or three passes together, which we didn't do first half. We did not string two or three passes together in one, I can't remember one situation. Um, we did that in the second half and then the spaces started to appear and I thought we should have had the point by the end of it. Yeah, I was going to say, it was a wonder goal from Alex Starchenko to get us back in it. It gave the lift, didn't it, in the, in, in the end? And we knocked on the door out in the second half. Yeah, and I've said it previous, we, we are strong in the second half. I just didn't see that coming in the first half. We needed more in terms of um, intensity. The intensity wasn't there. The sort of steamrollers first half. Second half, yeah, we, that was us. That was us second half. We looked the threat. We had some good opportunities. The keepers made a wonder save from Tongi. But yeah, Alex Dachinko's goal, that's going to win goal of the season without a doubt. That strike, probably for us and anyone in this league as well. Um, I thought he played well second half, he's another one first half, it's, these are new for these players, this sort of intensity where it's just 100 mile an hour, first 20 minutes, 100 mile an hour, who's going to win that battle and we didn't win it today. Oh yeah, um, but we were well on top the um, last half hour or so, and then they had the, the red card, and then you changed things around, you brought on the uh, Big John McComb, and then it, it changed the way we played. We had to go along then because we were aiming for, for his head for winning the knock ons and all that kind of thing. And did, it, it felt like it took the wind out of our sails a little bit, the changing uh, tempo and, and style. Yeah, with the change, um, we knew they were then going to sit in and there wasn't going to be them spaces to find. They weren't going to come forward, so we couldn't hit them on a counter attack. Um, we couldn't really play through them because they sat everyone back behind the ball so at times you've got to knock that ball up to the big man and try and, and play off the seconds around it. I know what you're saying, it might, have, it might have happened the other way around, that's the risk you take as a manager making that decision. If John flicks and we score, we equalise, then you say it's a good one, he doesn't, you might say it's a bad decision, that, that's football, we can deal with that. Um, we just felt we needed that a little bit more of a threat and we thought we'd get more set pieces towards the end as well, which you put John in the mix as well. We, we would have had that threat, um, but we lost a little bit of quality with the set pieces towards towards the end of the game. And obviously Tom Pratt signed a new contract, nearly got the equaliser with the last kick. It, it, it's a ball it went agonisingly towards the post. Everyone seemed to stop in the stadium, didn't they? Yeah, well, from our angle, we can't. Were you waiting for the the net to bulge? I don't know what how close it was from this angle, but by the end of it. It's just you go from elation where you think it's the end and then um, disappointment the final whistle is going to go. So today, today, today hurts. It, it hurts Bandy, it hurts more than any of the defeat because it is your local rivals. Um, but we've got to pick the boys up because there's still a lot of football to play. Did you think that 
you see, the incident at the end, what, what's far? Like, did you see it? Or? I haven't seen anything. I was actually clapping the fans, um, and then a few of them are pointing towards the middle of the pitch. So again, that's emotion from both sides. It, it happens in, in football. You don't want to see it, but I think it got yeah. separated quite quickly, so it's not a big deal. Oh, I'm nothing to no. Um Oh, I'm looking forward to the next game. Uh, Buxton um, away on New Year's Day. I've had a couple of really good battles with them this season. New management team in there now. Um, we've had, I think they've come back from one, haven't they, from mm. being 2 0 down. But certainly 3 2 up last time that we saw, anyway. Um, oh, it's gonna be, they're going to set up a little bit differently from what we've been used to the couple of times we've played in this season, but we guaranteed a, a very good game against them. Yeah, we'll lick our wounds for a day or two and then um, start focusing on Buxton. We'll get, we'll get all the footage we need. Yeah, there's a change of manager, a little bit of a change of personnel as well. So um, we'll have everything that we need on Buxton and hopefully put on a, a similar performance to what we did in the, the trophy. But we want three points this time. We, we were a lot stronger set piece wise. And that's why I, was, I think everything was, was set today in terms of the recent performances, unchanged team. And that's why I'm really disappointed with the first half today. Um, I'll, I'll have a good look at it, but I can stand here now and I pretty much know when you don't string two passes together in, in a game of football, then you're going to lose it. We know at times we're going to lose the physical battle, which we lost first half, but if we can combat that with playing some good football, we're OK. You don't do either, we're in trouble. Um, and then second half, yeah, a lot better today. I'll, I'll focus on books and I'll have a, we said I'll, I'll recap on this game the next day or two and then we'll focus on books from there. Does it, does it ruin your Christmas in a way to start the result now? It definitely ruins my night, yeah. <laughs> it, it ruins my night, but um, you're the manager of the football club, you've got to pick everyone up because everyone's everyone's feeling the same. And if I'm down about things, yeah. then everyone is down. So I said, well, look how we'll go home, I'll reflect on it tomorrow, and then my, my concentration moves forward to Buxton. Today, it should hurt. It should hurt everyone, it certainly hurts me. Um, and I, want, I actually want it to hurt the players, you know, because I don't want to go, well, we're going to go to Staley Bridge later in the season. I want them to know what it feels like to lose a game of football to them, because um, I don't want it to happen again. I don't want to lose to anyone, but so today, today's hurts more than, than most. Nice one. Cheers, CY. Right. Cheers. 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 Cheers.